60 Minutes Overtime. In 2016, we reported on Skylar Baylor, an elite Harvard swimmer who was recruited as a breaststroker for the women's swimming team. When he hit the pool for the Crimson, Skylar had transitioned and became the first ever transgender person to play on an NCAA Division I men's team. As we reported at the time, it was a story of a bigger transformation in attitudes, acceptance, and the larger conversation about what it means to be transgender. How different are you? If I had met you a couple years ago and then saw you today. Physically, you'd say, yeah, you might not recognize me. Um, you look that different. I'd say so, yeah. We'd say so, too. This is what Skylar Baylor looked like in high school. From the outside, Skylar back then appeared to be a young woman who had it all. Outstanding grades in school, plus All-American times in the pool. An attractive combination to swim coaches from top-notch colleges. I just spoke to Skylar a couple of days ago. Uh, he is supremely happy. He's a person who transitioned right before he went to Harvard. For Harvard, in lane two, Skylar Baylor. Skylar ended his career at Harvard, four years swimming on the men's team, in the top 13% in the country in the breaststroke. That means that he was 85% faster than all the other men swimmers in the country. When Skylar left Harvard, he decided that he was going to uh, go around the country and speak about his experiences. And he became an activist. He uh, mentors a lot of people. So he's doing what he can to promote his community and also to fight for better health care. He says that if he hadn't transitioned, he may not be alive today. He says it saved his life. And when I said, are you absolutely sure of that? He said, I'm 100% sure that transitioning saved my life. <laughs> 